It's the big show with the big rise. Hey, big station. I just wanted to call and let you know that Blake Sheldon is the sexiest man on earth. <laughs> You're you like that, huh? Yeah. Have, are you going to go out and buy a copy? Uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I just had to clear that up. What, what's sexy about him? Uh, his smile, his eyes. Yeah, uh, his personality. His personality. Yeah, that's what a lot of women say. His personality is what makes him sexy. Yes. That's cool. Well, there's hope for me then. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling. All right. Bye. That big Raj is ugly and broke, but he has such a great personality. Girl, it's high time I tell. I can't believe it. Kelly Pickler is on the telephone with us. How are Hello. you, sweetheart? Morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I, I am wonderful now that I get to talk to you on the phone. I am a huge fan of yours ever since the uh, American Idol days. It's been a long time then. You've been <laughs> on this journey with me for a long time. I'm an antique idol. Oh, Lord man. Knows. I fell in oh, love God. with you when you were on there. You, you were, you're you like the sweetheart of country music is what I call you. Oh, and well, it, thank you very much. I'll take that. <laughs> thank you. Big Station, what's your guess? Hi, uh, 140. 140 is close enough, yeah! Yay, and I'm the, the operator boy. Yeah, the operator trying to sell me something. Yeah, what do you want to buy? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 you say, what do you do for a living? I, I'm actually disabled. I used to be a cashier. Oh, did you? And you said you sound like you could call people and go, you know, like, hi, I am selling copier parts, you know, or something like that. It's just... <laughs> Maybe uh, I should uh, look into that. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Please... <laughs> 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 For English, press one. Numero <laughs> <laughs> Oh, What's your name? Uh, my name is Sherry. Well, I got you uh, $50 of Heyday gift cards. and oh, yay. Uh, yeah, and uh, four Arbuckle Wilderness Passes, too. Well, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And y'all are giving them guard tickets away this morning, is that right? Yeah. Are you a friend on uh, Facebook? Yes, I've uh, liked y'all for a hot minute. So. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you keep liking us, too. <laughs> oh, always. Y'all, y'all are the only good radio station down here, seriously. It's oh. my, my station don't leave off KICM. Well, no. thank you, Sherry. I appreciate You're that. You're very welcome. All right. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was nice, wasn't it? I like that. I need a little encouragement every once in a while. So Sherry is going to Heyday. She's going to Arbuckle Wilderness. She's our winner. There's one more sip in this bottle of wine. One of the most prolific Hollywood actors over the last 40 years. Please welcome to the big show, Dennis Quaid with us this morning. Welcome to the show, Dennis. How you doing? But now you are dabbling in something a little different. You're dabbling in music, and you got a band, and you're out there on tour with them, Dennis Quaid and the Sharks. So I have to ask you, what what was your first love? I mean, was it was it acting? Was it music? What what's that all about? Well, I guess I, it would be music, really, because uh, I grew up in Texas, and uh, so my first. Um, Memories, musical memories are you know, country music and uh, Elvis. Hi, Big Station. Hi, Rod. Hey, how are you? Good. Did you go trick or treating? Yeah. Did you get a lot of candy? My bag's full. Your bag's full? Uh huh. Oh, cool. Did you get any good chocolate? Mmm, Jesus. Oh, ho, ho. Snickers. Oh, you're going to bring me the Snickers, right? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I think that's payment for playing your songs. I should get all your Snickers. Okay. <laughs> they call us the two lane, just and you could be going to the uh, Fort Worth Zoo this weekend. I guess you you want to go, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. I've always wanted to go. I've never been. Oh, cool! It's you'll you'll love it. Uh, it's awesome. it's a lot of fun. Except the flamingos smell really bad. Oh, okay. no, I'll really avoid bad. that area. Ugh, but you can't avoid it. It's, that's like the first thing as soon as you walk in. Oh, really? And you're like, oh, gosh, get me out of here. But, but after you get past the flamingos, it's a lot better. I promise. Awesome. Thank you very much. You bet. Enjoy. Have a good day. Mm-hmm, you too. We got Luke Bryan tickets we're giving away on our Facebook page. I'm going to tell you more about that coming up next. 97.7 The Big Station. I don't think I need to explain to you who this lady is, right? Doesn't matter if you're young or old. You've heard the name of country music great Loretta Lynn. And she's on The Big Show with us this morning. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Welcome. Welcome to The Big Show. Well, it's my pleasure. Well, cross this off the list of... Things for me to do in my lifetime. The coal miner's daughter with us, Loretta Lynn, the queen of country music. More than 50 years of recording and touring, still going strong. 
And this year is shaping up to be a banner year for you, Loretta. Your latest album, Full Circle, has been nominated for a Grammy for Best Country Album. My goodness. Let's think about this. 50 years, more than 50 years. So when did you first start? A lot has changed in the last 50 years, Loretta. Well, uh, I come to Nashville in 61, I believe. Uh, it It's a lot different. You know, when I first come to Nashville, you just went in the studio and there was uh, five or six musicians and Warren Bradley was the producer and you uh, sung four songs that, that you had wrote or you knew somebody that did write them and uh, Warren Bradley would all, always okay them if I thought they were hits, you know. And uh, that's the way we did it. It's a little different today. Um, uh, of course, I haven't changed any with it. Me and my, me and Johnny Cash Jr. and my daughter Patsy, we go in and, and um, open up the studio and get the band in there, and we just we sing. Just sing. <laughs> we have on the line with us from uh, FEMA, the media relations manager from Austin, uh, Deanna Frazier. You've got your hands full down there in Texas. It's uh, such a disaster. It breaks our hearts up here in, in southern Oklahoma. It's It's been tough, I bet, for you, too. It has been tough, especially for those survivors, and they're still uh, living through the difficulties of um, the flooding that's going on right now. And you know, we're just trying to keep people safe at this point. Absolutely. Uh, we see the pictures and the videos on TV. You know, they got the National Guard out there helping FEMA's out there. You know, the Red Cross, Salvation Army, mm-hmm. a lot of folks helping. And um, but I, I get a lot of calls from people, a lot of emails too, saying, "Okay, we want to, we want to assist, we want to donate." What's the best way for our listeners here to donate uh, or to help? The most effective way that people can help there in Oklahoma is to donate cash. Well, uh, Deanna, I appreciate it. That is uh, exactly what we needed to know. And we do have a link on our Facebook page and our website to uh, Texas VOAD if uh, folks out there want to want to find out more and also to uh, FEMA as well. And we appreciate you being on, Deanna. Absolutely. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Big Station, who's this? Brianna. Brianna, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, you got Easton Corbin tickets. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, I need to know your superhero name. What color shirt are you wearing? Black. Black, okay. And what's to your right? Purse. Your black purse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wonder what your what your uh, superpower would be if you're a black purse. <laughs> uh, I have no clue. Maybe I'm a super shopper. <laughs> <laughs> Got lots of balls. Yeah, I think I got a pretty big fear myself. Uh-huh. Um, I'm afraid of mama. A mama? Yeah. <laughs> My mom can be pretty scary at times. <laughs> <laughs> what, what makes her scary? Hell, I don't know. She, she gets pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> Just scared of mama. <laughs> Where's well, mama? Are we all the time? I mean, is, is mama listening right now? I hope not. <laughs> Please welcome to the big show this morning, Jonathan Lithgow. Good morning, John. How are you? Thanks so much for having me. Hey, it's my pleasure, buddy. Uh, it's, it's so great to have you on. You are one of my Hollywood heroes. Yeah, I am a little embarrassed. Uh, I, uh, I'm a kind of, it's a combination of pride and embarrassment. Uh, just, but you know, I, I. Uh, uh, the thing is, you know, this is typical of interviews. People start rattling off my credits and I start to blush on the other end of the telephone. Hi, big station. Hey, hey. I walked into a bar. What does the second guy do? What? He ducks. No! Nah! Ah, that's an old joke, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of every time I hear this song. Like, I gotta call up there and ask him. That that's, was it. That's it. Uh, that's it. Thank Have you. A good day. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.